What's good, y'all? Welcome to a very special, impromptu, uh, not scripted, no notes. I, I, I mean, I got some notes. I got, I, I jotted down a few things. A few notes. Um, but uh, big news happened, and this isn't a, this isn't a standard episode of Party Crashers. This is Alex and I reporting to you via, via a visual. This time we have, we have a video component. I haven't even decided if, if this. We're is doing our go. quarantine episode. I haven't decided if I'm <laughs> even putting this up on, uh, like podcast feeds, or if this is just going to be a YouTube thing. So. Uh, you'll know by the time that you're listening or watching this because you'll be listening to or watching it. But anyways, PlayStation. PlayStation, uh, all week long there has been a rumor going on that there will be a PlayStation event going on next week. And we are kind of on our toes. Like, we know, we know like, things are going to ramp up next week. So we are planning to do a podcast by the end of next week just to get all the info and all the stuff that's going to happen throughout. And lo and behold, the, the rumors were true. Uh, June 4th is going to be the PlayStation event, I suppose. We're going to call it an event? Yeah. Yeah, I'd call it an event next Thursday. So this is what got posted on the PlayStation blog. With each generation, from the first PlayStation to PlayStation 4, we aim higher and we push the boundaries further to try and deliver better experiences for our community. This has been the mission of the PlayStation brand for more than 25 years, a mission I have been a part of nearly since the beginning. Who's the I we're talking about? This is Jim Ryan, president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Uh, there are a few things as exciting as the launch of a new console, with this road to launch has been a while this road to launch has been a bit different, we are as thrilled as ever to bring you with us on this journey to redefine the future of video games. We've shared technical specifications and shown you the new DualSense wireless controller, but what is a launch without games? That's why I'm excited to share that we will soon give you a first look at the games you'll be playing after PlayStation 5 launches this holiday. The games coming to PS5 represent the best in the industry from innovative studios that span the globe. Studios, both larger and smaller, those newer and those more established, all have been hard at work to developing games that will showcase the potential of the hardware. The digital showcase, that's what we could have called it, digital showcase. Digital showcase. Not an event, it's a digital showcase. The digital showcase will run... <coughs> Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> had a spit in there. Uh, we'll run for a bit more than an hour, and for the first time, we will all be together virtually, experiencing the excitement together. A lack of physical events has given us an amazing opportunity to think differently and bring you on this journey with us, and hopefully closer than ever before. This is part of our series of PS5 updates, and rest assured, after next week's showcase, we will have much. Uh, to share with you. Please join us on Twitch or YouTube on June 4th at 1 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. BST, 10 p it's it's 4 p.m. for us, um, to see what's in store for the next generation of games. I hope we can make you proud. Um, Alex, right off the bat, how fucking hyped are you? <laughs> I'm happy to finally hear, so I'm really hyped, but I'm mm. still like, the wording of it and everything tells me I'm not going to see a fucking console, which annoys yeah. me because I'm like, just show me the goddamn box. <laughs> I mean, so, but, but, but wait, so like straight up, if you could have one or the other, if you could like, if tomorrow you could know an hours long worth of video games that are going to be on the PS5 at launch, or, or not at launch, I guess, just on the PS5 in general, or you could know what the box looks like, what are you picking? I'm picking the box. You're picking the box over the games? <laughs> Who gives a fuck what the, the shape of it is? No, you don't. I already know what the games are. There's going to be surprises. I know there's going to be surprises. I know there's going to be surprises. That's like saying, okay, okay, it's Christmas morning. You can open up your PlayStation and play the games that are inside of it, or you can look at the fucking box. <laughs> you can look at the box. <laughs> I already know the games, though. So it's like, and it's not like there's a big, unless something crazy happens, there's not like, going to be a big launch title. Like, yeah, anything I guess, that's like crazy. Like, if The Last of Us Part 2 was like unannounced, and next Thursday they were like, it's coming out and it's PS5 launch exclusive, I'd be like, fucking sign me up, bro. But uh -huh. I already know. Cyberpunk's coming out before that. Last of Us coming out before that. Like, which will make, I think this is what makes but, it even then, more exciting. And then, in, and then something I read today on IGN said that there's already upgraded versions for PS5 for Ghosts and Last of Us. And which, I was like, okay, cool. So what does that mean, though? Does that mean that PlayStation is not implementing the smart delivery thing that Xbox is doing? Like, if we buy Cyberpunk on Xbox, no, they are. okay. No, they are. It's getting that upgrade. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting to see now if Cyberpunk's going to have the same thing. But the thing that worries me about that is I don't know if it's just digital or the physical disc to right. work with that, that that's, too. That's my fear. It's because like, it, it almost I have Last me... of Us physical. It's the only one I have physical because yeah. I got the collector edition with all the shit. So 
it almost but makes me like and cyberpunk are. so like when cyberpunk comes out like we know right off the bat they're gonna do you know smart delivery on the xbox so do i buy it on my xbox one so that i know for a fact when it comes out on you know when the series x comes out i can just you know play that same copy over there I'd like to think by September we're going to know, uh, you know, what the deal with PlayStation is, so I'll, I'll know what, what sort of decision to make there. But, like, the reason I want to get it on PlayStation is because of the, how they're saying they're going to do multiplayer eventually. So if they're going to do right. multiplayer, I'm going to want to play where you and Casey and all, you know, all those guys are. So I don't want to get it on the Xbox, but I also want to buy the fucking thing twice, so. Right, exactly. So, so, you, so you, you are in the mindset that we are only getting games during this conference. Yeah, unless they pull like a Steve Jobs and they go, by the way, we have one more one thing. One more thing, and then dude. Like, they, have the box. To. they have they to. They gotta do one more thing. Like, I, so I, 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 I think at this point, ahead. we've seen the controller. We're gonna see a bunch of games. They can't just like not show the box. And again, like we've talked about, like these things are gonna be getting sent off to production very, very soon. And like a, yeah, gi- a giant leak. warehouse is gonna just be like, oh, look, this is the PlayStation 5 looks like. And the box and everything. And it's gonna be taking pictures of it and it's gonna leak online. Like 100% yeah. that will happen. So you'd think they'd wanna get ahead of it. Oh, I was saying, I was surprised that we didn't see the DualShock 4 leak. Like we saw schema- or, uh, patents and stuff, but mm-hmm. they showed like an in uh, built-in screen you and mean stuff the like that. Dual that never or the DualSense, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Such a weird change. I know. Yeah, the nobody's, DualSense, nobody's used to it yet. Yeah, everybody's still saying DualShock 5. Uh, the DualSense, yeah. Like, it's way different than what any of those patents showed. So, yeah. not a bad thing. Because I, I love that controller. I, 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 I want to say that I think that we're going to get the the one more thing treatment. I think we have to. I think at the I very, so. very I end of the so video, too. and it's like, you know, they just, not even saying the words one more thing or anything along those lines, just being like, and make sure, you know, to catch your next video where we go in depth on the PlayStation 5. And, like, it just shows, like, a visual of it, like, zooming into the screen and then but- and then done. You know what I mean? The video's yeah. over. Like, just a little glimpse at it. Because it's just a fucking box. Who gives a shit? Like, why, why not just gonna show Because it's going to sit under your teeth. It's going to no, sit, yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why yeah, not yeah. just show us? Like, you know? It's- yeah, like, we already saw, the, we've already had, we've had the Xbox Series X mm-hmm. for m- two or three months now. Mm-hmm. Like and that that console's been tore apart. Oh, yeah, We're that was the inside of it. That was Game Awards. Was that, was De- that was December. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we had the breakdown video and like we've had everything. Like they've been super transparent about the box and everything that you're so gonna then, be uh, looking at. But... Final guess: If we do get to see the box, what's it look like? Solid color, two tone. Is it a V shape? What's it look like? I don't know at this point. Like so after, after the, the after, after, the, after the dual sense. After the dual sense, I couldn't tell. I know it's gonna be. It's got to be two tone at this point because it's got to be in sync with the controller. I would think. So you think white and but black? But I say then? that. Yeah, I think it's gonna be white and black. But I say that. But then, like, they also put out like camouflage controllers and not camouflage um, PS4s. Actually, so do me a favor. Go back to that uh, YouTube or not YouTube. That Twitter link that I sent to you. Okay. Because there there is some debate on the internet right now. Like, just you, uh, you don't have to click it. Just look at it. There's debate on the internet right now that people think that that controller is black in the image that they posted on social media. And to me, that's just like, no, that's just a really, really low light. Like, you can see the white edges around the top, and it's just the lighting. Like, they're meant to be, like, it's meant to be mostly covered up. Wait, what am I looking at? Uh, just the image, like, the where it says PS5, the future of gaming, and then that little, like, shadow of a controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people think that that li- Yeah, exactly. People think that's a black controller, like an all-black controller. To me, to me, it's like nah. You can see the white in the tops. Like it's just shadows, yeah. dude. It's still, it's still it's the just same shadows, yeah. And yeah, so I, I like people online are like speculating that maybe they're gonna show off that like yes, there's the black and white controller, but also like you know there's just gonna be this standard box that's like a black PS4 and a black uh, controller. But I don't see that being a thing. Um, do, so if you don't think that we're going to see the box then, um, or whether we do or whether we don't, do you think we're going to get more in depth on the controller or is this just games? No, no, no. no. I think they're going to show off. They got to show off the controller with the gameplay. Cause like they talked about it in their article already. So like, you mm-hmm. kind of got to be like, here are the feet. I don't know if you actually have to, cause already, like I said, like we just, like I just said and contradicted myself. They um, talked about the features on the controller, but it said we haven't seen like all of like what's available i guess or what's going to be present so i'm curious did you, did you see the most recent thing about how like you can feel rain in the triggers yeah 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 what do you think 
That's fucking dope, like right? <laughs> yeah, I want I want to feel I want to feel the rain. Like so if it's I'm raining curious. and I could just feel like a tiny little trickle on my fingers and actually like feel that rain, like I'm all in, dude. Like it's it's probably gonna wear that battery out even faster, and like maybe it's kind of pointless, but like I do want to know what the ba- I want to know what the battery life is on it, because like mm-hmm. the best the best gaming controller in my opinion is the Pro controller on the Switch, because that thing lasts forever. It's it comfortable. Does. That uh, thing I ju- I've charged it like twice. <laughs> mm-hmm. I haven't tried the Xbox Elite controller, but everybody swears that that's, you know, obviously the the greatest controller. I mean, oh, yeah. it's fucking like $200. It better be, but... Yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, when Halo Infinite comes out and I'm going to be hitting that bitch hardcore, like, you you best believe I'm going to be thinking about getting that uh that Elite controller. That, that, that Elite controller? Yeah. So, yeah, you think they're okay. going to you think they're gonna dive into the features of the controller then and, like, show how I, they I work with they... the games? Yeah. Yeah, I hope they do. Like, I hope they show off some games and show off, like, the feedback. Like, show that off and stuff. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't know a game off the top of my head right now to be like... Well, we're we're going to get get to the games. I know know we are. That's that's where I know. Um, So then, if they do show the box at the end, do you think they'll have pre-orders go live? Or is it too early? I would like pre-orders to go live, but like, how am I gonna? I'd have to pre-order it online. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, it's 2020. That's... I think they just believe that like that's what everybody does at this point. Yeah, like, you can even like if you plan on getting it at GameStop, just order it at GameStop online. Like it's just easier yeah. that way. So what do you think? Yes or no? That's my concern. That's my concern though. Is is it gonna come at launch? Because that's my big worry with The Last of Us right now. Is I've got The Last of Us Collector's Edition ordered online through GameStop. I want that on day one. Mm. I don't want it to show up like so Tuesday. So hold up, hold up then. <laughs> if you're if it ships out Friday that release day and you're not going to get it until Monday, Tuesday, are you going to buy a digital copy also? No. Yeah, you're a fucking liar, dude. I, I would be a I would be a fucking hermit. I won't be. I my phone won't be on. No, be on you're internet. a liar. You're be, such a liar. It, no. no here, here's the deal. No, here's the deal. Here's the deal. No, hear me out. This is what you do. This is what you do. I should just buy it digitally. <laughs> no, what, honestly, so yours doesn't show up, right? All you do is just go buy one at Walmart, Best Buy, anywhere that you want. Oh, and I just take the dip. Yeah. yeah, and then, like, so does yours come with just, like, the actual, like, plastic, like, oh, disc? Oh, fuck, I can't do that. No, it comes with a collector's edition, like, doesn't a doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter, because when you beat it, you can sell it on eBay for $50. It's like a, you'll, you'll suffer a $10 loss, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, just buy another copy and sell it. That's what I would do. Like, every yeah. new game now, like, I don't even trade games into GameStop or anything anymore. I purchase it, and then if it's a single-player game with no DLC coming, such as Final Fantasy VII Remake, that I know I'm not going to play again anytime soon, like, I just immediately sell it for, like, forty nine ninety nine on eBay, and it's like, you know, the game only cost me $10. Right. So, um, so, price. We've talked about this a million times on the Party Crashers podcast, but... If it gets shown, and if they show off a price and say pre-orders are live, what is it? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine is it? And mm-hmm. Is there different SKUs? Is there different levels, terabytes, whatever, or is it just like one standard version? Four ninety nine. I think it'll probably just be for now one standard version of like mm-hmm. here's the PS five until we get production going and like we sell more systems and blah 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 blah. Like two that... years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two years. Two years, we'll see it. I'm wondering if if they're sh- when they show off the console, if they're gonna have like the memory card thing, like Microsoft has though, with that by our uh, first party slot uh, expansion card or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like we do full circle and we're back to a memory card slot in the front. Do you think? Um, do you think that I knew what I was just about to say? Because I don't. Because I totally forgot. I, I don't. Fuck. <laughs> Um, something about price, something about price, something about price for... I don't know, were you going to talk about how the new rumors Microsoft's going to undercut and sell Series X at three ninety nine? And Do you think they're just waiting for each other, waiting for each other to I say something? I think they are, yeah. Like, like, Sony keeps saying they're not, but I'm like, are you sure? Because, like, you don't mm-hmm. want to overprice like you did with the PS3, that you overpriced and put out a year later than the mm-hmm. 360, which is why you got crushed that generation. And- so if it is four ninety nine, how many terabytes? Uh, it's we already know what it is. It's eight hundred and twenty six gigs. Really? Yeah, we already know the storage. It's only eight hundred and twenty six gigs. Hmm. Well then. Be- yeah, because uh, because Wait, of the way these that, SSDs- that's a weird number though. Would they just like call that one terabyte? Yeah, it'd be, it'll be a one terabyte. Yeah, because like most of it'll go to like system architecture and blah blah yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah. Like 
res uh, reserve space for resume feature and stuff like that. So like the yeah, actual yeah. storage amount would be yeah. Like so it'll be a one terabyte, but right. there's got to be a X amount of space reserved for uh, memory and stuff. Did you see how like with the Xbox Series X, how easy it is to put in a uh, external? Just in the back mm -hmm. of that fucker, yeah. Like it's just like there's a space like saved for an external hard drive in the back, and like there's an Xbox Series X, I think Seagate, just external hard drive that you just like input into the back. The little memory card thing, yeah, right? It's insane. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that then. Yeah, you just slide it in, and it's all good. It's so it's so tough for me because like the more and more I'm playing my Xbox, I'm just like feels like home, you know? Like I get like. PlayStation was like, I had PlayStation first, sure, but like when I first started playing single player shooters and just like my own game system that was my own that I didn't share with my brother and stuff, it was an Xbox 360 mm -hmm. with, you know, the offset joysticks and just like, it feels good and it's like, when the next ones come out, I can start from scratch. Like, will I be buying my third party games on my Xbox or buying it on PlayStation? Who's to say? Who knows, man? Right. Maybe Sony's going to convince me next week. Maybe they, maybe they're, that's what I'm waiting for. I'll find out. That's what really. That's really what I'm waiting for too. Is I really want them to just like showcase what the console itself can do too, especially mm -hmm. with their new create button. I want to see what that yeah. create button's all about. And like, I, I don't know if we're gonna get that far into it. I think that's what's like. You know, they we're said, not. We're not. No. They said that's they're gonna, gonna be have. The yeah, like multiple videos. Like you know, Xbox announced one video per month, June or May, June, yep. July, and like it seems like PlayStation's in the same thing where they're just gonna be yeah, like, probably. you know, each month or every few weeks, we're gonna update you and give you another video about this different aspect of it all. Um, so finally, here here we are. What games do you think? This, this is an uh, over an hour long, it says, and it's the focus is games. There's got to be quite a few in there, unless these are just like extremely long presentations of each one. It, it's going to be really long. It's going to be really long cutscenes for every game and no gameplay. No, it's like not. Microsoft. I mean, they know better. Dude. They know <laughs> oh, better. Yeah, they do. They 100% you, do. I mean, you'd think everybody um, would know better at this point because after every single E3 event, when people don't show gameplay, it's always like, where was the gameplay? But yeah. I think? think I think what they're going to do, which I think will be interesting, is I think they're going to start out with PS4 game. Not PS5 exclusives, but they're going to be like, here's where PS4 is at. And this is where, like, that video that's on YouTube of them showing off, like, the load time of, load time, or not load time, the mm -hmm. traversing of, like, New York City and Spider-Man, for instance, where it's, like, flying through the city pauses and gets stuck where, and all that type of stuff. I think they'll show that off. They won't stay on that for very long, but they'll be like, this is how good your PS4 games are going to run. And this is how good your game, your new games are going to look on PS5, and they'll go into it. We already and saw then a show little bit Spider of Spider-Man Two. No, no, no. I, I was going to save that. Mm. I'm not. I was going to save like a few big, like the bigger games. But I think we're going to see. We already saw like the list that let's, came out. Let's tackle from... them one by one. Well, so that list, like I looked at that list that you sent me. It was in what? It was a, it was a Game Informer or Eurogamer or something. Oh, it's in, it, no, it's in PlayStation Magazine UK. Okay, so. The thing is, though, that's it's a official PlayStation thing. That's a list of all the games that like have been announced, like games we know about that are coming well, next year. No, 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 there's some on there I didn't know about. Like right. for instance, I'm I'm pumped about NHL being in the first year. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure like EA has said something about that. Like it's, it's just yeah, games that like I've never I haven't seen shit. Because what you haven't seen is like NBA 2K is not on there. It's like of course yeah. we're getting an NBA 2K game, but I think like yeah, exactly. they, it's just and that playing, was one of the games I was gonna bring up was it's just, that obviously 2K is coming this year. Yeah, and they played it we're safe on that list. We're but, <laughs> oh no, we're not. They were not at all. We're not even um, WWE. So yeah, let's tackle them one by one. Like, what do you what do you think we're gonna get? Let's go first party first. Like first party titles. First party. Yeah. Okay. I think we will we'll certainly see as like a surprise teaser to Spider Man Two. I do don't I don't think that's out of the realm of mm -hmm. reasonable. Like, we're not gonna see gameplay. We're not gonna see anything like that. But we'll just get like Spider Man. Like, we'll just see like a web or something shoot across the screen. We'll see the spider. Yeah. We'll see. Peter Parker in the spider suit, not no story, nothing like that. Or maybe like Venom or like the symbiote getting out and it's like mm -hmm. 2021. For me, I think it's just like they're going to show everything they can, even if it's, yeah, like you said, a tiny little cutscene with a logo. They just want people to know this is what's in production. Here's what we're working on, because like they're yep. trying to sell a PS5. And if you if, if they come and, out of the gate and, here and show like five, like first party, like just banger titles, then that sells their system right there. So even if they don't come out and, until 2023, doesn't matter. Like, you know, they can show it. And I think that's going to be the case is they're going to do a bunch of their first, like there's a reason that PlayStation Studios video was talked about already. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to probably see Horizon Zero Dawn 2 as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll get like a tease of that. If not, like, oh, this is coming at launch. How's it? Here it is. Type of deal. Um, shit, I lost the actual train of thought I wanted, though. <laughs> no. 
You and I both suck today. You're on, oh, you're no, on Spider Man. You were talking about Spidey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I started thinking about something else as I was doing it. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, um, Spider Man and Horizon Zero Dawn are two big ones. I think we'll see. Oh, teaser to God of War, maybe. Yeah, God of War 2. But that's the thing. Is, are they just going to toss out 2, 2, 2, like a bunch of sequels? Yeah. Fuck it, right? right? Like, I mean, if that's what they Why have. Not? Did, do you think that PlayStation has a new first-party, brand-new IP to show? I think, Yeah, I think they do. I think that's something else we'll see. is something we don't know anything about yet. Okay, so as far as, like, launch title, do you think any of these are launch? If I had to guess on any of them, I'd say Horizon. Mm -hmm. But still kind Being of feels too one. soon, doesn't it? Yeah. Somehow um, that still feels too soon. Spider-Man's not going to be a launch, and I don't feel like God of War is going to be a launch. Mm -hmm. God of War seems like it's going to be a long, like, detailed game. It's going to take more time. Horizon Zero yeah. Dawn 2, they could probably pump out rather quickly. And, I mean, I guess that game came out in March of 2017, because it was the same time the Switch came out. And it, I guess... Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like, launch window, like, within six right. months of but the I mean, But out, even yeah. as a launch title, like, that's three and a half years. Like, it's not impossible yeah. for that to be out, so... It's not at all. It's not like it's Grand Theft Auto, so... Um, do you think that, um... Drawing a blank, who made uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2? Or Horizon Zero Dawn? Gorilla Games. Gorilla. Do you think Gorilla has split up into two different studios and also has somebody working on a new kill zone? Yes. I don't think that's out of the realm of reality. Because I don't want to see Killzone as a launch title again. Like, they did that for PS4, and the mm -hmm. game was good, but it was like, meh. Like, that's the thing. I think they want Gorilla to have something available for launch, and if it's not Horizon Zero Dawn 2, if that's, like, not ready yet, then it's like, why not It'll launch be a with a fucking first-person shooter? Yeah, another Killzone. But we'll have... Well, no, I don't I don't know, actually. Because um, we don't know if the new, we don't know if the new Call of Duty is going to launch on PS4 ps5 or not yet. yeah no idea we haven't heard anything oh i remember what i was gonna say nice i just i don't know how it came back uh the art there's an article today that uh jim fucks his last name ceo uh jim had said that uh he wasn't looking to make ps5 games for ps4 so they're doing sony's doing the exact opposite of what microsoft's doing mm -hmm. which i think is smart because then it gets you to want to buy the console for that right. game so yeah, like rather than just like stick around on Xbox, like oh why would I um, oh, why would I get a Series X if I can play Halo on my Xbox One, which is a cheaper console? Jim Ryan, by the way, um, and no, it seems like it's they're they're totally playing. I knew it was a, I knew it was a super generic two name. first names. <laughs> um, yeah. they're playing two different games right now. Literally, Xbox is over here, just like we want to include everybody. We just want you in on the ecosystem, as opposed to selling you an Xbox Series X. We want to sell you on. Game Pass. So you want to? We just want you coming into the ecosystem of Xbox, signing up for Live, getting X Cloud, getting Game Pass. Just realizing this is a, an amazing, great deal, and I'm in. Like, I want to be an Xbox gamer because I want to take my games on the go, play them in any system that I want, and I want to have. You know, they announced yesterday like a hundred thousand titles available at launch because Game what, Pass. Yeah, is over just, oh, oh, yeah, over yeah. a thousand titles. Yeah, it's, available. Game Pass game is for... just there. Game Pass is just you, you turn is... on your Series X and it's there. Which to me is cool. Like, yeah, you're gonna have all these games, but like, it's a fucking back catalog. It's not like it's yeah. new or something that's gonna like mm -hmm. blow you away. It's like I could play those games now if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I don't need to wait for that. To, to me, get it's it. like, like it's, it's a good, cool. It's a good selling point for like uh, a kid if they're trying to decide which one they want for Christmas. And like, maybe it's their first console. Maybe they're 12 years old and they're just like, I want to, I want to get a next gen console. And like, you know the parents are looking at it and they're just like fuck like the xbox day one he could just unwrap this and have a million games like just there to play i don't have to yeah i don't have to buy games just yeah gotta buy them live. he's just good he's just good to go so yeah I, I don't know and again we don't know really much about what like we for all we know like playstation could announce like playstation now is now uh included in playstation plus or we're doing a package and it's deal. way better it functions and, way better we, and we're we overhauled our network code and we're including all of our uh first party titles so like when horizon zero dawn 2 comes out that's included the same way xbox is doing like they could do things like that but also they don't have to because they're doing yeah. so well on their own that they don't need to do that i was gonna say people buy that we're buying the games anyways because they're so right. good back to first party games gran turismo is obviously going to be there right oh, yeah gran turismo so yeah they always say That's like totally nothing shows racing off games. nothing shows off a new console and its graphics better than fucking racing games Yep, and it's, there was a demo of it like last year, but they didn't know what the hell it was running on, like Gran mm -hmm. Turismo Seven or whatever Eight, whichever one it's on now. Yeah, and they said it was like crazy on an 8K TV, and I was like, mm -hmm. nice. Like, I'll, we're we're gonna get that for PlayStation. We're gonna get Forza for Xbox. It's just a no-brainer. Oh yeah, you got it's you gotta, a no-brainer. You got to launch with that racing game. Um, 
long rumored and I've heard like through other podcasts and people that are in the know, uh, Ratchet and Clank is like a for sure thing. Um, oh we, really? We've Start talked about another one. We've talked about it in the podcast. Like it's, I think this is their knack replacement. They're not gonna go knack three in this bitch. They're gonna go. Nah. We need a family friendly game to to release as for launch. Like we're gonna make it Ratchet and Clank and go all in on that. So I think we'll absolutely see Gran Turismo. I think we'll absolutely see Ratchet and Clank, uh, Horizon, God of War, and Spider Man. I think like you gotta tease those. Maybe they're all you not ready tease yet. Them, yeah. But like, it doesn't I, matter if they're ready as long as people know they're coming. Like uh-huh. people are gonna get hyped. What was the PS4 launch lineup? It was Killzone. It was NBA 2K, whatever. It was Battlefield 4. Here we go. Okay, so Knack. I remember, because like, I, I had a picture. Knack, Knack was one. Uh, Killzone Shadowfall, Battlefield 4, uh, Warframe was there at launch. What? Or no, it wasn't. This is a stupid list. I don't think Warframe was there yet. That was Warframe was not there. Here we go. Okay, third party titles was Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Call of Duty Ghosts, FIFA 14, Battlefield 4, Just Dance 2014, Injustice, Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Madden NFL 25, NBA 2K14, and then um, first party was Flower, Killzone, Shadowfall, Knack, Rezogun, Sound Shapes, Escape Plan, and Flow. I forgot about Rezogun. Rezogun was a cool ass game. So they had their they had their family friendly game in Knack. They didn't launch with a racing game, which is strange. No. Nope. Um, so yeah, I I think we'll see all those for sure though. They're gonna want to show those off because I yeah. Well, we are cause we already know we're getting we're getting another Assassin's Creed with Valhalla at launch. You know what else was shown in the PlayStation reveal or PlayStation Four reveal? Dreams. What's that? Dreams was, really? was shown. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we just finally got that this year. Oh, man. In the PlayStation 4 At the end re- of its life cycle. reveal <laughs> event, there was Dreams, dude. Yeah. Uh, what were you just saying? I don't know. God damn it, dude. <laughs> God I gotta start it. taking some like, like, now that I'm done with school, my brain just is, or done with the semester, my brain just doesn't retain my fucking memory well. Um, you were saying, you were saying Assassin's Creed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Assassin's Creed. So we'll get that with Valhalla. I'm not I so... assume we'll get a new Call of Duty if we don't get like. Mm-hmm. I assume we'll get two Call of Duties. I assume, well, not two, but I assume they'll like upgrade Modern Warfare since Warzone's huge. Mm-hmm. I assume they'll upgrade that, and then we'll get the new Call of Duty, th- whatever it is, the uh-huh. Cold War one is out. Yeah, yep. Cold War one will launch on both. Um, we'll get NBA 2K21. We'll get NHL Madden, all that type of shit too. Right. Um, so third party titles. What do you think? Skate 4. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even funny at this point. And like, honestly, like, if, if Skate 4 was a thing, if Skate 4 existed, EA is announcing that shit during EA Play. They're not giving that to Sony. Oh, uh, what if they did, to. though? What if that was a thing? I mean, I guess, like, so who's... You're going to have more people watching the Sony conference than you're going to have people watching EA Play. So maybe if you really wanted to, like hit the ground running, you give it to somebody like that. Yeah. But I wonder I, if, uh, I can see skater XL being shown more than fucking skate for. Yeah, I know. Right. I wonder if, uh, 2k 21 or PGA 20, 2k 21 will come up to PS five or not. Or if it'll know. just be like, but that's, really that's another thing, dude, I have that pre-ordered right now on PlayStation and it's like, I'm buying the physical version. So if, like, can I take yes. that disc, put it in my PS5, and will it play? And will it, well, it'll play, but will it be an upgraded version, or will it just oh, yeah. still be PS4 graphics, well, honestly, and I need to buy a PS5 version of it? That'd be shit fun. at that point. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I wouldn't spend more money to just, like, get it to look slightly better, because, like... Yeah. Yeah, screw that. Um, Wait, hold on. I had, I had other ones for first party. Um, Do you think we'll see... I, I, I've read things of people thinking that maybe... They give the Uncharted series to some someone that's not Naughty Dog. Like, if Naughty Dog's just done with Uncharted, they give it to a different first-party PlayStation developer and say, you guys make the next Uncharted game. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I, feel like just, I, like, I like Naughty Dog's storytelling too much. They're me so too. good at it. But they, and they, they, could, they could be advisors, and they could help them with the story yeah. and like everything, but as far as making cool, the game... What would it be, though? Would it be as, no would it be as Nathan Drake's daughter? Or? No idea. Because then you just got a competing Laura Croft, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what's gonna. That's what's gonna. We're gonna find out, dude. Laura Croft is right. just secretly the. Daughter. It's a crossover. Yeah. Uncharted Croft. 
So yeah, um, in the last one that we didn't uh, that we talked about in the last podcast, also Little Big Planet, dude, is it there? I hope so. That'd be sweet. I'd give, be so excited. Give me the give me the return of Little Big Planet and Mod Nation Racers. Yeah. Is that too much to Both. ask? Like PlayStation, you know, you got that create button on there. You can create tracks and characters and skins and all that shit in Mod Nation Racer, Racers. And Little Big Planet's all about creating stuff. Like you give me those two games, and I can fucking die happy. All I really want, actually, is skate forward in it. So yeah, third party. Um, that's what's confusing. So it's like you've got Ubisoft, which it seems like Assassin's Creed is like on the Xbox side of things. I think they might have the rights to like all the advertising show for that game. game. But like, yeah. are we gonna see? Are they gonna show off Watch Dogs Legion? Are they gonna show off Gods and Monsters? Um, Steep Two. <laughs> yeah, what's the deal with uh? What is the deal with Watch Dogs Legion? Like it was, de- it was supposed to be out in the fall, like in February or March or whatever it was going to be, and then they delayed yeah, it yeah, indefin- indefinitely. Uh, essentially, is it just indefinitely. Essentially, now? it was just like Ubisoft looked at all their games and were just like, all of our games Suck. are 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 exactly like the game everybody hated last year that you bought that you you hated also. What was it? Tom Clancy's fucking. Oh, Breakpoint? Yeah, Breakpoint. that trash. They're like, all of our games are like this. They're all micro microtransaction based, and people are unhappy, and it's like, we're going to go... They're all them. microtrans... Yeah, they're all microtransaction heavy, and they're all fucking looter shooters now. Yeah. It's super annoying. It's like, oh, here's the same game, but in three different universes. Right. It's like, why? So the impression that I got was just like, Ubisoft was just like, all of our games play exactly like this. Clearly, people don't want this. Let's restructure them. So they delayed all of their shit, and it's just like, they're just working on them all right now. Um, yeah. I, so know, I don't know. We already know. We know quarantine and uh, siege are both coming to PS5. We know that. Which are I don't know about. I'm not really excited right. about quarantine. I'm as excited about the, Rainbow Six Siege. Though, as but. far as the event goes, like, do you really waste time like talking about like the, that shit? Probably not. That's like I a really later. Think so. That's like a later video. That's like an update of being like, here's all the games that you are playing now on the PS4 that you're gonna be able to you know push over and also play on the PS5. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm not sure, like, third parties is where is where I'm confused, because, like, everybody wants to do their own event this year. They all, they all want to do, do their own digital showcases, so it's like, you know, the Ubisoft or EA route, like, they could give Sony something where, like, they show a little bit of it on their stage, and, like, you know, you're going to see some of it on, on here, and then it's like, you know, stay tuned to Ubisoft Forward or EA Play coming next month to get, like, the full gameplay. Like, they, right. they could give Sony the rights to, like, show the trailer, but not the gameplay. So they're announcing the game exists, but, like, everyone's going to be... And that just hypes everyone up even more to want to watch Ubisoft Forward to see what, you know, that game's all about. Oh, yeah. I think I'm... Yeah, I'm mostly excited for new IPs, I think. Like, just... Yeah, you know, same. I want, I want new IPs. We were talking about first parties, and it's like Horizon Zero Dawn 2, God of War 2, Spider-Man 2. It's like, give us something new, man. I like that. Unreal 5 demo was sweet. If that was its own new game, that would have been awesome. We know it's not, but it would have been a really Mm -hmm. cool concept. I'd have checked that shit out. Do you think they will touch at all on PSVR? I really hope they do. I don't think they will, but I hope so. I'm hoping, like, they tease PS... Not, like, I guess it would be an announcement. Like, they just tease, like, it's coming, but... I would love to. I'd love to see PSVR stuff. I'm gonna after we're done. I'm actually gonna check out Iron Man. So, oh yeah, you, I'll let you know how that is too. Yeah, I, my controllers were dead, so I'd charge them. Yeah, so it's, it's weird. But, it's weird. It's like, do you uh, do you save that for like, again? Like, is that a separate show? It's like we're ready to talk yeah, about like, PSVR so, too. So what if they deal the, the the Microsoft route and they go, this one's games. Next month is console reveal. And that month after that's VR reveal. And then they just break down all the stuff like that. Do you think it's possible that at one point PSVR 2 was a thing, and then because of coronavirus, now they're going to delay that and just launch the PS5 on its own? No, I don't think coronavirus has affected... Sony's pretty adamant oh, yeah. about, like, everything's still on time. Like, corona hasn't really affected us. Production's still good. We're still launching this year. It's right, not right. really affecting us. Still so launching the PS5, if, if, though. Yeah, so I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if, like, that cut back on resources for PSVR, because mm-hmm. I don't know what Sony's working conditions are. Like, I don't right. know how Japan's handling coronavirus. I don't keep up on, like, the rest of the world. I, th- I have a hard enough time keeping up with our own state but in our country, let yeah. alone other countries, too. I think at this point, um, we haven't heard about um, PSVR 2. I don't, th- I don't think it's not coming at launch. It's not going to be a launch it's thing. It's not I, coming I, at launch, I, no. I think they're going to want to separate those, actually. It makes more sense, because, like... 
people are going to have their money accounted for, like to pay for their PS5 or even people that are going to buy both and buy the Xbox Series X also. It's like, I think Sony would benefit from like waiting a year, getting the, P getting the people to own PS5s first before they're trying to sell them the next thing. Like, right. get people to have a PS5 for one, a year or two until they're just like, now that you but, have a PS5 and you love all these games, here's a PSVR 2. But another thing with that, too, is uh, one of the rumors and from the like from the box and everything from the uh, duh, 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 whatchamacallit developer's kit from the dev kit. It had the VR stuff built into it. So you could like. So that made it wonder, like, oh, is the PSVR, like, instead of having this fucking box oh, yeah, that sits yeah. next to my thing, is that going to be built into the PS4 or PS5 now? Which yeah, it should so be. If, so if we... Because like, that's how it works on computers, is you right. just plug the shit into the PC and then you're good. And if we see a box with some inputs that are just, like, a little... What are those little guys? <laughs> what yeah, what are those, those guys for? for? <laughs> like, what, yeah, like, what if they show... Like, that's how they end it. They show off the console, but they only show off the front. They don't show off the back where all the inputs, like, yeah. audio out, uh, all the... Like, yeah, all that kind of stuff are. Mm -hmm. Could do that, too. Um, so any other third parties you're thinking of? Again, I wish I could have made a list and stuff, but I was doing too much work earlier that I couldn't actually dive in and um, like, get a, some list of what other people are I'm thinking. curious if Konami's going to bring out Silent Hill or not. I know that's a long-running rumor right now, too. Is, is there a new Silent Hill game? And if there is, is it going to be an yeah. exclusive at this point? Or is Sony going to get it for, like... Did you hear the most recent Silent Hill news? Uh uh. It's DLC in Dead by Daylight. Like two oh, characters. Yeah. I already Silent know that. Hill. Okay. Yeah, tri triangle or pyramid head and uh, uh -huh. the ca the girl there. They're, oh yeah, God. they're in Dead by Daylight. Godfall. We're gonna see more on Godfall. Obviously, that's the new. Oh idea. yeah, yeah. It's a launch title. That that, that is. That game. What do you just, think of that though? It's so underwhelming to me. Like it just looks like every other game like it. Like. Yeah, I was gonna say. I and was it's like, not, it's not my genre, what, anyways. Like, it's not my kind of game. Like, it just, you know, it's very, very fantasy looking, and it's like, it doesn't. I mean, maybe, maybe when we see actual gameplay, it's gonna look a lot different. But from what I've seen, from what they've shown, like, it's just it seemed like it's for me. I almost just made a real dumb statement. Do it, and I'm glad I didn't. I, I'll, I'll say it when I'm like, I want. <laughs> it's gonna sound real dumb. I was gonna say, I wonder if they'll show off when it comes to third party. Because it's technically, it'll be third party for Sony, but it's first party for Microsoft. If we're going to see Minecraft on next gen consoles with RTX and shit. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, I'm, I'm surprised I mean, Microsoft never, hasn't yeah, said yeah. or showed anything. It's definitely that. a dumb thing to say because Microsoft oh, yeah. would be the one showing yeah. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. They would 100%. It like, oh, no dang. Yeah, I mean, I really want to see more gods and monsters. Like, it looks very much like, you know, Breath of the Wild in. And yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like again, it's it's like mythical and fantasy, so it doesn't seem like it's for me. But it's also super colorful and like in that in that sense, it is for me. So I'm I'm just very intrigued by that game. I want to see more of it. You, what do you think, like Dying Light Two? Uh yeah. Oh, or uh, what's that other zombie game? The one that's been like in production forever. Dead Island. Oh my! Yeah, that one. <laughs> dead Island. That game's got to be Two dead, dude. Oh, it's dead. gotta be dead. What about what, uh? What one is it now? Dead yo, Island. Yo, yo, here we go. Ready? You ready for this shit? I got one for you. Ready? I got one for you. Grand Theft Auto Six. <laughs> oh, that game that's not coming out for like five years. Yo, yeah. yo, Grand Theft Auto Six. What do you think? They're, they're not. There's nothing. Think, yeah. <laughs> there's not. A, there's not. There's no way. If, if I had to make my list of just, like, the most hyped, like, what... Let's do... We should do a podcast about that one time. Just, like, dream games, top five. Like, what fucking five games could they announce that would make you jump out of your chair? Like, if you... Or if, like, a genie came to you, or if a developer came to you and was just like, we'll make whatever game you want, name it. Rockstar makes identity. Let's rank them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could just be Grand Theft Auto 6, could it not? It could. It doesn't need to be a separate it doesn't game. Need to be, uh, like Grand Theft Auto yeah. could eventually just like, you know, grow in 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 eventually be more than just you know what people we think Grand Theft Auto is. Especially like Grand Theft Auto Online has proven to us that like people will spend money on in-game shit. Like people yeah, want people totally. want, people spend money on people fake spend money. real money on fake money. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like if they want to capitalize on that, let us rent more apartments and have, buy cars and like you know just live. Just our keep lives giving new houses and. Ed shit, yeah, like, like bunkers my, and then the casino. Favorite, some of my favorite streams to watch are just like Grand Theft Auto roleplay stream streams. 
Oh, just, role playing streams are the best. Amazing those in Grand crack Theft Auto. Me up. But people like have to follow the rules, and there's like people that are playing police officers, and it's always the PC mods. But it's like people that oh, are yeah, playing yeah. police officers, people that are playing this, and like when you get hurt, you have to actually go to the hospital, and they'll check up on you and make sure you're okay. Yeah, and and like, ambulance shows up, picks you up, yeah, and exactly. drives you away. It's, it's, it's so good. It's amazing, and like you know, like that. Let's move that to consoles. Let's let's get, make that just like a game that exists, and not just like a mod. Yeah, it'd be so good. Um, I'd be on board for that. So yeah, you got you got anything else? Got any other games that you think they might they might surprise us with? Uh, maybe we'll see. I don't know if EA showed off or not. Maybe we'll get a glimpse at The Sims Five. Maybe that's a that's, that, a, that's thing a thing that's thing. been it's like, just like any any th of these third party games that are also having their own events. They could they could just let somebody else announce and then they do the deep dive later on. So yeah, they very well could. And, uh, what about sports titles? Do you think we're gonna see? NBA, Madden, uh, fucking NHL, FIFA, NBA Live. Like, you think we're gonna see any I of would, those? I would like to see. I could give a fuck. Oh, uh, I don't know, actually. I wouldn't mind seeing them, but they're not anything I need to see because, like, they're gonna be the same shit they are every year, just yeah. a little better looking. And, like, graphics and sports games and stuff, I don't care because I'm not, like, mm -hmm. taking in the world. You know what I mean? I'm on a fucking field and I'm just trying to make goals or baskets or whatever. Yeah. Maybe NBA 2K. 21 22 whatever year it is mm -hmm. that one would be cool because like you got like the stadium lights and all or the arena the basketball lighting and all that type of stuff where like a football game it's just like sunset's gonna be real cool that you're not gonna be able to see because the glare is gonna be in your eyes and it's like okay cool <laughs> nhl would be cool i'd see the reflections off ice and stuff but like again it's nothing i need to see but right unless well, yeah. you're showing off like a new sports game so but that's EA a, just so, signed, signed their multi, another multi-year thing in the NFL, which sucks. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, because we're going to get NCAA football again. God, I hope so. Coming, dude. I um, hope so. So that's that. I mean, that that's that's, that's our, our thoughts on the PlayStation Conference. Um, Or sorry, digital... Digital, digital con event. Digital conference. Digital event. Whatever the fuck they want to call it, dude. 2020. It's just an event. Um, What's the what's the plan? Are we going to like do like a live reaction thing? I mean, I feel like we gotta. Yeah, like I, it's 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 really hard to set up a stream that's gonna have like multiple uh multiple video captures. It's possible, but it's a lot of work, and it's like I don't know if I really want to do it. So I might just go like me on stream, like on the camera in the corner, video, and then you guys in the Discord, like audio channel. Like I told yeah. Casey about it, I told HK about it. I was like, anybody that just wants to jump in and just watch this thing with us and react, <laughs> like just hop in. It's a party, dude. It's a fucking party. So yeah, expect down. to see that. We'll stream that probably on Twitch. Then we'll put the video up on YouTube afterward. Um, then the day after we do that, we're planning on doing our podcast for Party Crashers that Friday with our reactions for the event and everything else that's going to happen next week because there's there's other events next week going on, Alex. This is PlayStation's not all. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Because if you go to rosemary.media, there's a little bar at the very top that says Wet Hot American Summer of Gaming Calendar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you click on that, and I've basically And it gives just, you everything through, like, June. I've created a list of, like, all the things that I could I could find that's just, you know, what's happening in video games. The things you might want to know about. And next week on June 5th, which, what day is that? This is, that's the 4th, so it's June Thursday. 5th, Friday. So June 5th on Friday, IGN Summer of Gaming has uh, an exclusive... Oh, yeah, three game unannounced. Yeah, one exclusive game reveal, one exclusive reveal trailer, and one exclusive unannounced gameplay. Um, yeah, of three games that we don't know about yet. So we're going to go from PlayStation event on Thursday to a bunch of IGN reveals on Friday. And then the 6th through the 9th is the Guerrilla Collective Showcase, which is when they're going to be showing off a bunch of indie games that are coming out. So that's like three days of that. Kind of funny dudes have been working on um, that, and it's it's going to be a whole thing. And then, you know, the I think that's Sunday. When, when's the 8th? On the, on the 8th. Sunday. 8th, so 7th, Friday, 8th, no, Saturday, Monday. Sunday, Monday. Monday, Monday, yep. Monday the 8th, you've got another classic revival uh, reveal um, on IGN, and then another unannounced game on IGN. 9th through the 14th, you've got the Steam Game Festival. June 11th, we've got the Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Wire and EA Play Live, which, damn, that's so quick, dude. EA Play is only like two weeks away. Yeah. Mm. I'm Skate super four, pumped dude. for Skate um, 4. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> June, June 8th. I was just talking about 13 the other day. Is it like a remake of the original? Don't know. 13, I'm, if I want to see 13, I want to see Chivalry 2 for sure on the 8th. Is that who made? Is that who, what Merge Games has made? What's that? 
It's on the June Which 8th one? one, IGN, it says exclusive game reveal from Merge Games. Oh, no, 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 no. Down. Underneath it, there's underneath it says trailers, and there's Chivalry 2. Mm, tra exclusive okay, announcement and trailer reveal. Because, yeah, the, the Merge 13th. Games one. Actually, we don't need to get into all this. We'll talk about this in the podcast. This is just, yeah, just exactly. about PlayStation, guys. You can hear yep. the PlayStation news. Um, listen to Party Crashers. Um, again, we'll be recording it next week. We'll talk about all the new stuff that's gonna be that's gonna be happening and what we're excited about. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for watching. Um, www.rosemary.media is our website. Uh, see everything else we do there. Alex, any of those motherfucking last words? Nothing. I'm good to go. PlayStation. I'm just dog. ready for next week. PlayStation. 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 Get hyped. PlayStation dog. on Thursday. <laughs>